Okay, this is a guide on how to overclock a Gigabyte P55-UD4P motherboard. I have a Core i7-860. This should work for uh, any Core i5 or Core i7 as long as it's 1156 socket, the new socket from Intel. Uh, at the time of this video, only the i5-750 and the i7-870 and i7-860 exist. But there's going to be more that come out, so you might be watching this at that time. First thing you're going to want to do is most likely flash your BIOS. Uh, this, at the time of this taping, this just came out, so uh, my BIOS is F3, as you can see right here. Or does it say there? Nope, it doesn't. Uh, anyway, believe me, it's F3. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're on this main screen is probably hit Control F1. Control and F1 at the same time. That releases uh, any a lot of gigabytes uh, features, overclocking features. I'm not sure if it releases anything on this BIOS or not, but. Then you're going to want to go into MIT, Advanced Frequency Settings, the second one down, Advanced CP, CPU Core Settings, Features, and this is how it'll look when it's, uh, this is how this BIOS looks when it's stock. You're going to want to, if you're going to overclock, you're going to want to disable Turbo Boost, C1E, an EIST or speed step. QPI clock ratio. Now this is going to be a mild overclock so you don't really need to mess with this. If you're going to go much higher you might want to set it to the lowest setting that's available. But I'll just leave mine at auto for this sake of this video. And this is the main setting right here, base clock control. You want to enable that. You can't overclock unless you enable that. And for the sake of this video, we will, uh, stock is 133 times 21. We'll go 160. That brings us from 2.8 to 3.36. XMP disabled. And the memory multiplier, you're going to want to see what speed your memory is. Mine happens to be 1600, so it, this overclock brings it to 1600. But you're going to want to find the, the one that's closest to your memory or below. So if your memory is 1333, you would want to set it at 8 on the multiplier. That would be 1280. That's if your memory is 1333. Mine's 1600, so I can leave it at auto or I can make it 10. These settings, don't need to mess with them. Next one down, advanced memory settings. If you didn't change your multiplier on the last page, you can just change it here. Again, XMP disabled. Performance Enhance, probably safe, but I would go standard on that. If you're going to do any, uh, do too much overclocking. The Timing Selectable, this comes auto, that's the, the default. To change your memory settings, I've learned it's a pretty good idea to look at your memory, see what it is, and change these. Mine happened to be 7, 8, 7, 20. So I'm going to change those to 7, 8, 7, 20. So that's what they run at. That's what the memory will run at when overclocked. 
that'll take uh, some stability out of the picture. These settings you don't need to mess with. If you've got more than two uh, dims in, you might have to do this uh, again on this this one, channel B. I only have the, the one set of dims in, four gigabytes, two, two gigabyte uh, dims. So that should be good, 78720. Standard performance enhance. On voltage, you're going to want to make some changes here. And I'll continue this in uh, number two.